Oh, hello. The church is open and I'm going in for a communion service. A good reminder during lockdown that the churches remain open, but also the church doesn't mean a place of bricks and mortar, however hallowed and lovely they are. The church is a community and it's you people watching and sharing and worshipping at home who make the church what it is. As I say, it's a communion service and if you want to share in table fellowship, which I know sometimes people would like to do, just have some bread on your table at home and eat in remembrance of what we do together. Let's go on in. Grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. The Prayer of Preparation Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you, and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with all. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, 
we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. We are heartily sorry and repent of all our sins. For your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and lead you to everlasting life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. The Collect for today. Eternal Father, who at the baptism of Jesus revealed him to be your Son, anointing him with the Holy Spirit, grant to us who are born again by water and the Spirit, that we may be faithful to our calling as your adopted children. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. While Apollos was in Corinth, Paul passed through the inland regions and came to Ephesus, where he found some disciples. He said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you became believers? They replied, no, we have not even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. Then he said to them, Into what then were you baptised? They answered, Into John's baptism. Paul said, John baptised with the baptism of repentance, telling the people to believe in the one who was to come after him, that is, in Jesus. On hearing this, they were baptised in the name of the Lord Jesus. When Paul had laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. Altogether, there were about twelve of them. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our reading today is from Mark chapter 1, verses 4 to 11. John the baptizer appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And people from the whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to him and were baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair, with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and honey. He proclaimed, the one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. I have baptised you with water, but he will baptise you with the Holy Spirit. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptised by John in the Jordan. And just as he was coming out of the water, he saw the heavens torn apart and the Spirit descending like a dove upon him. And a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, the Beloved. With you I am well pleased. Here ends the reading. Our grandchildren have reminded me how much fun it is to play with their toys. 
I like the ones with a bit of movement. These London buses, for example. And you really can't beat this dinosaur for vigour. There's vigour and movement in the work of the Holy Spirit in the two Bible readings today. When Paul baptises some disciples, the Holy Spirit came upon them. When Jesus was baptised by John, he saw the heavens torn apart and the Spirit descending like a dove on him. Our picture of God can become static, fixed and lifeless. Our picture of God can become associated only with what God has done in the past, not the present or the future. The Holy Spirit is dynamic. God in action. For today. The Holy Spirit shows us a God of movement, change and vigour, a God of surprises for our own times.
Let us pray. Loving God, we come to you in hope at the beginning of this new year. We give thanks for this day as we focus on the baptism of our Lord. Let us be reminded that we have been baptised and of our calling to be Christians. Lord, may we be filled with such joy as we believe in you that our hearts overflow with love for you and for all who we meet along our journey. Help us to understand the mystery of the baptism of your Son. May we walk in your way, live our life for you and be mindful of your presence day by day. In the Anglican Communion Cycle of Prayers, we pray for the Church in New Zealand and Polynesia uh, within our diocese for Victoria James, the Diocesan Secretary, and the students, tutors and administrators of the Portsmouth Pathway, the course for training licensed lay ministers and ordinands. Within our deanery, we pray for the parishioners of St Mary's Church, Burriton, and Judith B, their priest in charge. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray that the whole world may know the healing power of God. We pray that divided societies may be reconciled. We pray especially for a peaceful resolution of the transfer of responsibility to the new administration in the United States. May all in authority represent their communities with honesty, integrity and respect and take into account those with differing views to their own. May all understand that power and authority comes from one who is greater than they. Lord, in your mercy, Hear, Hear our prayer. We pray for those in our community who are preparing for baptism and that godparents shall remember the responsibility for the spiritual life of those they have sponsored. We pray for our community at this difficult time of lockdown. We give thanks for the efforts of local clergy and volunteers to help the young, sick and elderly. We thank you, loving Lord, for the dedication of doctors, nurses and ancillary staff, many of whom are feeling overwhelmed by the number of patients they are looking after. We thank you also for the scientists who have developed the COVID vaccines. We pray that this year as the vaccines are given to people, the disease will come under control. Help us, Lord, not to be impatient, nor to become careless, as we know a return to normal life will take some time. But help us instead to be thankful to you and to those who help us. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Loving Lord, we thank you for the many blessings we have received from you, for this beautiful planet, the trees and the flowers, the oceans and hills. We thank you for the support of family and friends and the bonds of community that are so precious to us. Teach us how to preserve the environment and enhance our relationships so that our children and our children's children will be able to enjoy and appreciate their lives as we do. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for the departed who began their earthly lives by following Christ in baptism and have passed with him through death into life. May their joy be forever in the worship of the Holy Trinity. We pray in Christ, 
who has made us his own in baptism. Merciful Father, accept, accept these, these prayers, prayers for the sake of your Son, our, our Saviour, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to set before you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is right to praise you, Father, Lord of all creation. In your love you made us for yourself. When we turned away, you did not reject us, but came to meet us in your Son. You embraced us as your children and welcomed us to sit and eat with you. In Christ you shared our life, that we might live in him and he in us. He opened his arms of love upon the cross and made for all the perfect sacrifice. On a night he was betrayed at supper with his friends. He took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to them, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, we do this in remembrance of him. His body is the bread of life. At the end of supper, supper taking the, taking cup, the of wine, cup of wine, he gave you thanks gave and said, and Drink this, drink all, of you. all of you. This is my blood is of my the new blood covenant, blood covenant, covenant, which is shed for you shed and for, for many, for, for the forgiveness, for forgiveness of, sins. of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, we do this in remembrance of him, whose blood is shed for all of you. As we proclaim his death and celebrate his rising in glory, send your Holy Spirit that this bread and this wine may be to us the body and blood of your dear Son. As we eat and drink these holy gifts, make us one in Christ. With your whole church throughout the world, we offer you this sacrifice of praise and lift our voice to join the eternal song of heaven. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. The gifts of God for the people of God.
Let us pray. Father of all, we give you thanks and praise that when we were still far off, you met us in your Son and brought us home. Dying and rising again, he declared your love, gave us grace and opened the gate of glory. May we who share Christ's body live his risen life. We who drink his cup bring life to others. We whom the Spirit lights give light to the world. Keep us firm in the hope you have set before us, so we and all your children shall be free, and the whole earth live to praise your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Christ, who has nourished us with himself, the living bread, make you one in praise and love, and raise you up at the last day. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you, and remain with you always. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. <laughs>